Um, good morning. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex Gregg, and I'm, I'm going to be chairing this, this conference over the next uh, couple of days. This conference has been in gestation for about two years, I think. And more than an elephant, as you tell me, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and it's not an accident that it's, it's happening at the, uh, very close to the beginning of the Malta presidency. Um, and people say, what's in the name? But I mean, the idea that we, we, we first launched onto the notion of digital education, and by that, I, 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 what we're talking about is the mindful use of technologies for education. And as soon as you start going down that route, you start coming up with all sorts of opportunities and problems, like what do we mean by education now and these days? Uh, do we just mean tablets, or do we just mean uh, young people running home after school and uh, looking for a different type of education from the screens. So I guess the idea of uh, focusing on connected, blended and open learning, um, these are themes that you will hear about over the next uh, couple of days. I'm, I'm really delighted we've got, um, I think, quite a stellar lineup of people who are colleagues, friends, some of whom have traveled great distances to to be here. And um, I personally very much look forward to, to a dialectic between uh, people with different mindsets, um, different approaches to, uh, to, digital, uh, to digital education. Doesn't seem to be moving. Uh -huh. Okay, it's moving. Okay, so in, the, in terms of the conference themes, there are there are six themes if we enter the dice sector. The first thing is about openness and equity in, in digital education. And again, the whole themes about openness and equity are very much underpinning the, the Malta presidency, and I'm, I'm sure you will hear some more about it from, from the minister. Another thing that we've been juggling with here, but which we believe has um, significant importance in, within an EU context is the idea of education which is conducted mainly or totally online and the old notion that we all need certificates and accreditation how do those those two things come together in the 21st century um, so there are there are uh, parallel sessions which will focus specifically on uh, on that theme um, there are many policy makers in this in this room many colleagues who struggle every day to try and align what ministries do with what is served out in the class, I guess. And uh, I think these are important things that we, we need to discuss. And then, of course, we have people who are interested in the shiny new things, you know, uh, and, and how these can be best deployed in the class, not just to replicate what we normally do, but maybe to rethink what we do in, in, in a class system which is still very much in many countries a one-size-fits-all situation. And at the end of the day, it's the people who are on the front line, who are the teachers, specifically the learners, uh, engaged with digital education. And we put down future trends. It's not just because Brian Alexander. Is Brian here? Of course. Oh, I thought you'd be here, yeah. There's a man with a big beard over there. You'll, you'll get to know him at some stage. I mean, um, it's not just because Brian runs um, webinars on, on future trends and the newsletter on future trends in, in, in digital education, but it's about we have to make an attempt of, of looking around corners, but on the basis that, you know, how, how far do we need to look around on the basis that it's, it's our responsibility to take care of not just future generations, but current generations that are going through our education systems. So those are the conference themes. Um, just a bit of housekeeping. Um, there are two hashtags for those of you who want to tweet or do whatever you, you, you wish. Um, the first one is the presidency hashtag, which is hashtag EU2017MT. 
And if you want to refer to a specific uh, conference, if you put in hashtag DGED, that would be also helpful. The conference is being streamed on live on the uh, presidency website. Um, it's probably, you know, I'm not even, you know, you won't read this, but I, I believe that if you plug that link into your browser, into your phone, you're gonna see live session from at least the plenaries or any of the parallel sessions which are gonna happen here. All of the sessions are gonna be recorded and uploaded on the presidency uh, website. So that's where we are. I mean, I'm looking forward to, to, to kicking off. Um, I'm, I'm really hopeful that people will, will speak debates. I mean, we try to make the setting as informal as possible to, to ho you know, hopefully encourage people to speak up. So um, we've got uh, one, two, three keynotes coming up now. Um, the first one will be by, by Joseph Caruana, who's the permanent secretary uh, at the Ministry for Education and Employment. We'll then follow that with a keynote from the Minister, Everest Bartolo, and, and then a keynote from Antoinette Angelova Krasteva, I hope I, I pronounced your name properly, um, who's director of DG Education and Culture. So um, if I can welcome um, Joe Caruana to uh, deliver his keynote. Thanks a lot.